first thing you want to do is get Notepad. Um, you can either find it in the search bar, but I've got it here already. But don't open it yet. You need to right click and then click on Run as Administrator. You'll get a pop up and you say yes. So here's Notepad, and what you want to do is open a very specific file. So you go to File, Open, and you want to open this location. So you go onto Windows, System32, Drivers, etc. You can copy and paste this. I've put it in the description for you to copy and paste. And what you'll see is that there's nothing here. That's normal. What you want to do is go here and click on All Files, and you'll see a file here called Hosts. You're going to open that file and you'll see this kind of stuff. Now what you want to do is let's say you want to block um, BBC. So right now BBC, the website, it's working but I want to block it. So what I'll do is I'm going to go here and I'm going to paste this. You just put the URL of the website you want to block here and you can put this here and don't put a hashtag here. If you put a hashtag, the computer will read it not as code but as commenting and it will ignore it. If you remove the hashtag, it will read it as code. So once you've done this, you save the file. And if you go back to BBC, you'll find that, hang on, it's not loading, your computer's blocked it. Uh, so that's it, you've blocked the website, you're done. If you want to unblock it, all you have to do is go back to the file and you can put a hashtag there or you can delete it completely then save it and then it then it won't be blocked anymore. Uh, why would you want to do this? Well, it can help you be productive because it means you'll stop spending time on websites which are not useful to you. And although this is reversible, just that extra bit of effort means that you're much less likely to go on these websites.